What's going on everybody? It is now week six. You know the drill by now. This is the flex. I'm going to tell you who to start every week in your flex. You give me two, three, four, even sometimes five options. I'm going to choose one. I'm going to tell you who is the best option available on your team to start in the flex. Right now, it's basically the middle of the season, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for you to make your run into the playoffs. It is a very important week, week six here in fantasy football. So let's get started. All right, our first question is from James. He wants to know who to start in his flex. Half point PPR between Will Fuller, Tyler Lockett, and D.D. Westbrook. First, let's get rid of D.D. Westbrook. Blake Bortles is his quarterback. Enough said. If you're going to start a Blake Bortles wide receiver, you have to know it's going to come with some risk. Last week, D.D. Westbrook had a very average game against a defense that gives up a lot of fantasy points in the Kansas City Chiefs. This week, they're going against Dallas. In Dallas, they do not give up many points to fantasy wide receivers. I just would not trust D.D. Westbrook to put up any type of numbers this week against Dallas. Now, you're going to ask me between Tyler Lockett and Will Fuller. It gets very interesting because of the emergence of Kiki in Houston, but... I'm going to go Tyler Lockett here. I like the matchup in Oakland. Oakland has an awful defense. Russell Wilson seemed to find something last week against the Los Angeles Rams. They put up 30-something points, which is a good sign for the Seattle offense. And not for nothing, Doug Baldwin hasn't been doing much at all this year. I know he's been hurt. He missed a few games, but he's come back and hasn't done much. Tyler Lockett just scores touchdowns. He does. He might see five targets, six targets, whatever it is, but he's going to score a touchdown. I like it against that Raiders secondary. I think he scores again. If you're going to ask me to choose between these three, I'm going to go Tyler Lockett by a little bit over Will Fuller. All right, our next question comes from Troy, and he wants to know who to start in his flex PPR league between Emmanuel Sanders, Nelson Aguilar, Mike Williams, and Aaron Jones first. Mike Williams, listen, I know he's a big red zone target for Phillip Rivers, but his ceiling is this high? His floor is this low? Stay away! I mean, listen, I understand he might score a touchdown. He's a threat to score a touchdown in every single week, in every single game, but he's going to give you like three receptions for 33 yards and a touchdown max. There is no reason to be starting him unless you're absolutely desperate. Now, Nelson Aguilar, I like as a player. I just don't like what I'm seeing from this Eagles offense right now to trust him to put up points. Carson Wentz has been back. He's been up and down, to say the least. They're playing the Giants on Thursday Night Football. It's just one of those things where I, I need to wait and see where this Eagles offense goes from this point on for me to feel comfortable to start Nelson Aguilar over someone like Emmanuel Sanders. Now, I like Sanders a lot too, but Case Keenum is driving me crazy, and he's got me worried. I'm not really sure what to expect from Emmanuel Sanders. They are playing Buffalo, which is a bad team, and I think they win that game. But right now, Emmanuel Sanders has been on a downturn a little bit. I would consider starting him. He'd be my second option here after Aaron Jones. I would start Aaron Jones. I love running backs. Aaron Rodgers loves Aaron Jones. Mike McCarthy's job is on the line. They're playing against San Francisco on Monday Night Football. I think they get the ball in Aaron Jones' hands. I think they listen to Aaron Rodgers. I think he's on the field more. I think he's involved more with plays. I think last week against Detroit is more of an anomaly for the rest of the season going forward. I think Aaron Jones is going to be a running back too. I think he scores a touchdown on Monday Night Football. I would start him in the flex. All right, our next question is from Armando, and he wants to know who to start in his flex standard league between John Brown, Chris Carson, and Aaron Jones, all three good options, I think. I think you have a good problem here, Armando. First, John Brown is on the road against Tennessee. Tennessee has had a very stingy defense this year. I wouldn't start John Brown if you're giving me these options. I do like John Brown. I think he's going to be okay for the rest of the season. I think he might be okay this game. But out of these three players, I just wouldn't start him in a standard league. It's not PPR. You're not going to get any points per reception. It's going to be yards and touchdowns, period. And he's not going to be touching the ball as much as these running backs are. So I would sit John Brown in this scenario. Now, I know I just said I like Aaron Jones a lot. And I do. But he's in a committee. And he's very hard to trust right now. I understand I just said to start him because I do think he's going to have a big game. He's going to have a huge game. I really do believe that. But Chris Carson has shown us that he is the lead back in Seattle. He's put up over 100 yards in a few games. He's getting at least 20 touches. He is the safer bet here. I'm just saying he is the safer bet here. So I would take Chris Carson personally 
over Aaron Jones, if you're giving me the situation. I think Chris Carson has another big game. They're going against Oakland. I think that Seattle offense puts up points. They continue the momentum from last week. And I think Chris Carson gets in the end zone. It's not a slide on Aaron Jones. I know I just said I like Aaron Jones a lot, and I do. But start Chris Carson. All right, our next question is from Madden Star, and he wants to know who to start in his flex. PPR between T.Y. Hilton, Doug Baldwin, Josh Gordon, and Michael Crabtree. This is a very interesting question because I don't know if T.Y. Hilton's going to play this Sunday, but if he does play, you start T.Y. Hilton. No questions asked. Very easy. They're playing the Jets, who I think is... They're a good defense, but I don't think they'll have any problems putting in any points on the board against that Jets defense. T.Y. Hilton will be the bona fide best target for Andrew Luck. If he's healthy, you start T.Y. Hilton. No questions asked. Now, let's assume he's not healthy. Michael Crabtree, same thing I just said about John Brown, right? They're going against Tennessee. Tennessee has a stingy defense. Tennessee is home. Last week, Joe Flacco only put up, what, six points, was it, against the Cleveland Browns? And I know the Cleveland Browns have a good defense, but you still have to score some type of touchdowns. I don't trust Joe Flacco enough to make Crabtree or John Brown have a good fantasy game. So, therefore, I'm going to sit Michael Crabtree in the situation. Doug Baldwin. What is going on right now? I had such high hopes for Doug Baldwin this season. I know he got hurt, so it's not all his fault. And he's back, but he's not producing. I think this is a game where he can produce. I think this could be a breakout game for Doug Baldwin, but I'm not starting him. I, I'm just that type of player where if I don't see it, I'm not taking a chance on it. And until he proves that he is back and in full form and is Russell's favorite target, I'm not starting Doug Baldwin, even though I love the matchup against Oakland, that is taking a huge risk. That is such a low floor, but a high ceiling. And right now, it's all about consistency. It's week six, you need to win this matchup. And I know, I know that <laughs> I just said something about consistency. I'm telling you to start Josh Gordon. But honestly, Tom Brady is a consistent quarterback. Josh Gordon proved himself last week, catching that ball in the end zone. I think that opened up a lot of eyes in Patriots land that you can trust this guy. It's another week in the system. He really doesn't have any other better targets outside of Gronk. Yes, Edelman's there, but he's more of a short-term receiver in the flat. I like Josh Gordon this week. I think he gets more involved in the offense. I think Brady looks his way. I think he has about six receptions, maybe a touchdown. I don't really like any of these options, to be honest with you, outside of T.Y. Hilton if he's healthy. So if T.Y. is healthy, start T.Y. If he's not, go with Gordon. All right, our last question comes from Miguel. He wants to know who to start in PPR between Chris Godwin, Mike Davis, and Wendell Smallwood. I think all good options here, right? Chris Godwin's on the road, but they're in Atlanta, who gives up like 97 points per game in Atlanta. I think he's a very good option. I just don't know if I trust Jameis yet. I don't know what's going to happen there. I like other receivers better, like Mike Evans, even a Cameron Brait. Not sure if I like Godwin yet, even though the Falcons are prone to give up 97 points per game in Atlanta. I wouldn't choose him out of these three players right here. Now, Mike Davis has been solid since he's been given a role there in Seattle, but he's still behind Chris Carson. Yes, it's almost a 50-50 split, and he did score a touchdown last week. But I would hold back just a little bit because Wendell Smallwood is now the man in Philadelphia. They play Thursday night, I know that, but I think they're going to rely heavily on him and that short passing game. I think he gets some PPR points. I think he gets in the end zone. I like Wendell Smallwood a lot going forward, especially with Jay out for the rest of the year. I think he puts up a touchdown in this game. I think he puts up PPR points. I like him. Start Wendell Smallwood. All right, everybody. This has been the Flex Week 6 edition. Hopefully, you're doing well in your leagues. Hopefully, I have helped you out in your leagues. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Josh underscore Rodriguez underscore. I would be happy to answer some of your questions. Like always, check out the rest of the videos on Fantasy Smack Talk. Dustin's waiver wire video is a very informative video telling you who to pick up who to shoot for in your leagues, and then drop a comment in Dustin's video asking me who you should start in your flex for next week, week seven. I know a lot of comments come in afterwards asking me who to start in your flex. Just hit me up on Twitter, guys, like I said, at Josh underscore Rodriguez underscore. Until then, I will see you for week seven of the flex.